do you not acknowledge what the hell just happened, Souls? You're my guy, but what are we doing here? That's a clear penalty. He kicks him in the back of his ankle, bro. How the hell is he supposed to control possession of the ball when he's getting his leg kicked? How is he supposed to control possession of the ball? I mean, I mean he, had, he had a chance later on and he tried kicked. to control the ball. He couldn't control it. So regardless bro, of him being fouled, he couldn't do it anyway. Forget about that. You cannot control a ball when somebody's kicking you. Same way, same way. When when you have a goalkeeper trying to collect the ball, you can't. You if you move his arm, he can't collect the ball. So how the hell is this not being given? And then you go it's to the handball. It's not a robbery, though, bro. Still, this is clearly a penalty. A this is clearly a penalty. This is clearly a penalty. There is nothing you can tell me when the ball is coming straight down to you to collect the ball, and you're trying to control the possession with your foot. If somebody kicks the same foot you're trying to control the ball with, that is clearly impeding the player's ability to control the possession of the ball. That is clearly a penalty. That is in the I'm box. That is a penalty. If you want me to show you the, uh, another angle... That's where... fine. I, I'm, yeah, show me as many angles Look as at, you want. Uh, today alone, today alone, Kwanzaa got a, 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 a card uh, got a card for that. And this is... Look at his leg. Look at his leg. Can you not see where his leg is? He That's fully right. I okay. Is his, that head, his leg I'm wrapped still around still his ankle. What was still what not a robbery here? It's still not a robbery, bro. It, that is clearly a penalty. If they gave the penalty, if they give it or they don't care. give it, that's not my point. That's not. I don't care. I, I really don't care what the VAR is on our side or it wants to be completely against. Oh, bro, them. can you not see that this is clearly a no, no, no. Even if it is, I don't think we were robbed. We were robbed of a penalty. This, no, no. We our robbed players of robbed us of a win. No, no. The reality is our players robbed us of a win. Bro, we can talk about the players. Bro, Iga, Iga, I'm telling you now, with your, if the players have your mentality, fuck the league. We ain't winning it. I'm telling you Bro. now. We ain't winning shit. Hello. What's good? So, uh, what's good, Ursa? Listen, um, I, 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 bro, I'm we'll talk about the players, we'll talk about everything. Just get this over and done with first. Can we not agree that this is clearly a penalty, bro? Can I? Uh... Well, can we not agree that this is clearly a penalty, bro? Even if it is, I don't care. Yes, if it is, no, it isn't. I don't. That's not my problem. I don't bro, have a problem. With it. Why are you letting the referee de decisions not even be spoken about? Like, I get it. Because you want to talk I about the overall think, performance? Yeah, but this is what. Can I? Can I? Can I? Lie? Can I say league, something? Right? No, no. Every single team in the league, right, has decision go their way and go against them. What you need to learn is to win games without the referee's impact. Again, how many times have we, have we done shit. that with the referees? Let me let me let me learn here. Yeah, I thought the referee, like, oh, people said, oh, we missed our chances. That's the biggest load of baloney because those players don't um try to it, inadvertently by purpose miss those chances. It happens in a game of football. Sometimes you cannot play well and win a game where you feel like okay, cool. But when the decision is going against you. Every game now, every away game we have, we have a decision that goes against us. And we've won the majority of those away games against Palace, against Everton, against Luton. The amount of decisions, the penalties, fouls that were meant to go our way that have not been given. We are entitled to feel like the referees, PGMO, every single referee is against us. Yeah. Sure, Jesus, Saka, Erdogan missed a couple of opportunities. But even if we had scored those, PGMOL, the referees would have looked at any excuse not to give that uh, a goal. And they've been doing that time after time after time after time. How many times do they go out, kick our players, Saka, kick our players, Erdogan, and then when we kick our player back, oh, it's a yellow card. It's not down to just missing opportunities because it's, it's live. We're not going to score every shot we get. But the referees know what they're doing. They can see what they're doing. Every opportunity is it's subjective. How can you give that a penalty in the uh, in the Crystal Palace uh, Liverpool game after a minute and forty five seconds of deliberation? But a clear cut penalty on Gabriel Jesus that is not given a penalty. And and even then, it's not the first time they've done it. Newcastle they've done it. Everton. Everton are offside that wasn't an offside and a clear foul and a build up to uh, Martinelli or a clear um. Crystal Palace, Tommy Asu, getting a yellow card for for, for taking a throw in, taking too long when it was Kai Havertz, but then getting sent off for a little tug on Ayu. The same Ayu, by the way, that made two fouls the whole game against Liverpool, and that's a, a, a red card when it wasn't. It wasn't. 
Then you look at your last season. Arsenal won, Southampton won in, in their crowd. How many times did Jesus get brushed in the SI, bodied in the face, punched in the face, pulled down for a penalty, nothing was given? And people will sit there, want to sit there and say, oh, we weren't robbed and we missed our opportunities. But they intentionally know what they're doing. And we react to it as Arsenal fans defending our team. It's a disgrace what these referees are dis dis doing week in, week out. I used to be in favour of VAR. But the VAR, the referees are sucking the soul out of the Premier League. They're sucking the soul of the enjoyment of the game. I'm fed up of it. One second, one second. Big up protocol. Man's, man's out here making fun of Arsenal, saying much love, you, uh, big up souls, big up, big up protocol. Thank man. you for letting me rob, by the way. I appreciate it. So I'm, 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 I'm angry. And can I, can, can we just get one thing over the line? Souls, can we agree on one thing? We will talk about the performance and individual players guaranteed, but can we just get one thing over the line? This right here. Oh, I and this one here. I'm more upset about this. I think this is clear and obvious evidence that there should have been a penalty. Why would they not give this as a penalty? Souls, you disagree with me and you think that it's not a penalty. Why? I don't. The, the, I've not said that. I said I just don't care. It's not. I don't. It's not a talking point for me. I've said it from the beginning. It's one of the talking points. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, cool. Yeah, we lost because they didn't give us a penalty. Oh, brilliant. We're not winning the league with that mentality. I can tell you that for oh, a fact. Did we not lose no, against Newcastle because they gave a goal that was dodgy? But that Newcastle game, you deserve it. We can role. sit here, right, and start blaming. We, we, we keep deflecting. Our main focus is always the referees. Every yeah, but sitting week. there bashing the players, getting angry at the players, yeah, looking at the players. Where's their play? As, oh my god, as the sole no, reason no, why you know as we lost the game. The fan, the fan help base help is this entire fan base is such losers. I actually, you know what? I'm actually agreeing with Lee Gunnar. The standards of this fan base are in the in the gutters. We're just happy to be in contention for things. We're Nobody just happy to be. We want to win the league. We are, man. We are. We are. No, 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 we are. Yeah, we're happy. Goals. We're fucking happy. Goals. Because Goals. it's bar fault, right? Goals. There's a difference between standards and, and understanding it's what you do in the game. You, you're looking at it from the perspective of the players lost us this game. I'm yes, they did. I'm looking at it. I'm looking, at it, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, one second, one second. You're telling me this game in where we made all these chances. You're just saying because we didn't finish them off and, and we 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 have ourselves to blame and nobody else. Yes. Am I wrong? 100%. It's our fault. Who, else, who else's fault is it? Did, did the referee say, oh, Odegaard, by the way, if you score this, I'm disallowing it. They don't fucking do that, man. Let's not bullshit. They do. Out. They have done that. They, have that. they hey, do not let the that out. Let's still rule that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that yeah, that's what they've been goal. doing, right? They ruled out Declan Rice's goal, didn't they? They ruled out Declan Rice's against United, didn't they? Because, oh, they felt like it. They can't do that, man. Let's be absolutely real. They don't just rule it out. Okay, no, so you sorry. thought the overall performance was bad? It was shocking. I'm gonna be real. I didn't like. I don't. The first forty minutes, right? We didn't even pass to each other. I don't even know what was Arteta banned from the training ground as well. Because I know he was banned from the touchline. Fair enough, isn't it? But was he banned from training these players? Because we couldn't string a pass together. Even Saliba caught the gene at one point. He made a pass in between Raya and Gabriel and gave a corner away. I was like, what? But it happens, man. Yeah. Rice had a few opportunities. Jesus <laughs> crossing the line. Where, where are these balls going? You're not passing it to your own players. And that mounts pressure. That's why we couldn't get control or a grip hold of this game. It's because we lost our foundations today. Yes, we so, created those chances. Yes, we created a plethora of opportunities. But we didn't take them. That's what lost us the game overall. We wouldn't talk about the referees if we converted one or two of those goals. That's all no, I'm saying. I'm looking to our bench, right? And I just don't see many game changers. I see Trossard and that's it. I don't see any game changers on our bench. Like our injury list as well. But we need to buy. We need to buy in January and we need to buy game changers in January. You know what we're going to do in January? We're not going to buy a striker. Yeah, Let's be honest. we all know this. So uh, everybody here, we know we're not going to go buy a striker in January. We're going to wait until the summer for a striker. We're literally going to buy defensive cover just because in case Timber re-injures himself again or in case Tomiyasu is out for a long time, we're probably going to get defensive depth. Okay. 
So yeah. I'm not going to get a straight answer from Souls on, on that because he doesn't want to even talk about the referee decisions. So let's talk about the game then. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video on Eagle Talks Football. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what you just watched. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 25K. And let's try to get to at least 30K maybe by the end of next season. And as of right now, I bid you guys adieu. But don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think.